From ABC 15 News, this is Breaking News. Tonight, the FBI says it's investigating yet another apparent assassination attempt on Donald Trump's life. Here's national correspondent Christine Frizzell with what we know so far. Another attempt on Donald Trump's life foiled after a stunning chain of events in Palm Beach County, Florida. That includes an adept Secret Service officer just ahead of him at the Trump International Golf Course. He was able to spot this rifle barrel sticking out of the fence and immediately engage that individual, at which time the individual took off. Sheriff Rick Bradshaw says he left behind two backpacks with ceramic tile, a GoPro video camera, and an AK-47, which had a scope, praising a witness who saw the suspect and took a photo of his car and his tag. The suspect, identified as 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Ralph, soon pulled over and taken into custody. Investigators now scouring his social media to determine a motive. Ralph had recently been living in Hawaii and had multiple prior arrests. In a campaign email, Trump writing, My resolve is only stronger after another attempt on my life. I will never slow down. I will never give up. Shock still settling in that the suspect was able to get as close as he did, between 300 and 500 yards from the former president. The golf course is surrounded by shrubbery, so, so when somebody gets into the shrubbery, they're pretty much out of sight. All right? And at this level that he is at right now, he's not the sitting president. If he was, we would have had this entire golf course around it. But because he's not, the security is limited to the areas that the Secret Service deems possible. The threat level is high. Uh, we have increased the, uh, the amount of assets that we've supported. So we are, um, we live in danger times. The incident just about two months after a gunman was able to get way too close to Donald Trump at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The bullet grazing Trump's ear, another killing a man at the rally. An incident critics say never should have happened. That falls to um, negligence, incompetence, uh, being unmotivated, unwilling to do the job on a Saturday morning, a hot Saturday morning in July. The very basics of what the Secret Service needed to cover simply wasn't done. The analysis from this apparent assassination attempt is so far largely positive of the Secret Service. That stands in sharp contrast to the security lapses that plagued the Butler, Pennsylvania incident. A report on that is due out in the coming days. I'm Christine Frizzau reporting. South Carolina lawmakers reacting to the now second assassination attempt on former President Trump. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster saying on X, quote, President Trump is the face of America's strength, resilience, and our hope for a bright future. Now more than ever, his safety and security and that, if that of his family is a national security issue that the Biden administration must take seriously. Congressman Ruffles, Russell Fry also taking to social media saying, quote, I am thankful President Trump is safe. President Trump and America need our prayers now more than ever.